beautiful Capricorns and welcome. This is your weekly reading for July 31st to August 7th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for anyone who has strong Capricorn placements in their chart. The overall energy for you for the week is fire. Card number 10, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. All right, Capricorn. Some of you might have fire energy in your chart or around you at the moment. Some of you may have just been feeling very fiery, possibly even a bit angry, irritated, um, annoyed. Um, Spear is indicating let go of the emotional upheaval, embrace the renewal of the present moment, and focus on that. So let's see what we have in your spread here, Capricorn. We're going to see what's coming your way this week, your challenge, and your outcome for the week. This is for Capricorn. Spirit, please show me. This is for Capricorn. Some of you definitely could have been born on the 10th. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. All right. Let's see. We have the Four of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Five of Swords. Your possible challenge is the Wheel of Fortune. And your outcome is the Page of Cups. All right, there definitely could be some sort of apologetic energy coming in. You definitely could have argued with somebody or been feeling pretty stuck. Some of you may also have been feeling very ignored by someone. Um, your possible challenge is the change here. So I feel like for some of you with this Page of Cups as well, some of you may be receiving a peace offering, an apology around this time. And I feel like that's... With the Wheel of Fortune, embracing the renewal of the present moment and the shift could be a bit challenging for you. Some of you may have just taken it what it was, taken it for what it was, left it behind, said, all right, you know what? It ain't going to work out or it's never going to get anywhere. And now here comes a peace offering. So let's clarify this whole spread here for you, Capricorn. On the Four of Cups, we have the Empress. On the Hanged Man, the Four of Wands. And on the Five of Swords, we have Strength, the Wheel of Fortune with your challenge to the Ten of Cups. And the Page of Cups with your outcome to the Three of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's a reconciliation-like energy for you here. Um, or just a happiness energy restored. You have the Empress of the Four of Wands. So this could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. Or it could be somebody that you live with. And or could also be somebody that you are looking forward to being in a relationship with. I feel like there's some stuck energy in this situation. Um, with the Five of Swords to the Strength card, I feel like you've ultimately been trying your best to be strong in this situation and not necessarily spit some fire type of energy. I feel like some of you have been holding through your anger quite well. But there's definitely a peace offering type of energy here. Like this person doesn't want to have bad blood with you or this person just doesn't want to have this type of dynamic with you any longer. It's like they definitely want to reconcile. Let's clarify this for you, Capricorn. We have the sun, two of pentacles, six of wands, justice, and the knight of swords. So this person's going to come in pretty... This person, they may have already come in. Others of you, this person's going to come in... It's going to be like all of a sudden this is changing. I feel like it because it comes in so quickly, your energy might be a little bit like, whoa, like what happened here? Like I thought you were ignoring me or I thought you didn't. I thought this was our argument or it's just kind of like. It's like all of a sudden this person's like, all right, well, I don't want to be mad at each other anymore. Or all of a sudden this person's kind of like, well, I don't want there to be conflict anymore. So let's resolve. But I feel like this person was ultimately avoiding the situation and now it's like they're deciding not to avoid it any longer. Knight of Swords here with the outcome. This person's definitely going to come in hot or their energy has come in hot. Six of Wands here. I feel like you're ultimately feeling a lot more seen, a lot more heard, a lot more appreciated by this individual. But I do get a little bit of indecision for you here on how much you want to heal with this person. If you want to heal with this person, let's clarify this for Capricorn. Capricorn. 
We have the Sun to the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Death card, the Emperor, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like some of you are contemplating on if this is something that you want to engage with again. Empress, Emperor definitely could be a situation revolving marriage or somebody that you feel like you could marry. Clarify this once more. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Lovers. We have the Five of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, to the Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you ultimately feel like there's still things that need to be resolved between you and this person. I feel like it's almost as if this person's kind of just deciding to say, all right, the conflict happened, not much resolution, let's just be okay. And I feel like that's where you're contemplating on the energy, where you're wondering if there was enough resolution to continue on or to reconcile or rekindle. Clarify this once more for Capricorn. We have the devil. We have the star. We have the moon. We have the six of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the nine of swords, three of swords, geez, queen of swords and the three of wands. I feel like there still needs to be resolution between the two of you. I don't feel like you necessarily feel like everything is healed and everything is great and okay. I feel like this person just doesn't want to have this dynamic with you anymore, but I don't necessarily see you feeling totally confident about it. I feel like you may still be holding on to some sort of emotional upheaval with that fire energy here. Let's see. We have the Hermit, the World, and the Six of Swords. Yes, I ultimately feel like you're waiting for there to be more healing between the two of you. That could be where justice is here in the challenge, where you feel as though... Things need to be more fair. Things need to be more balanced between you and this person until things get there. The renewal of this situation. I feel like you're a bit resistant towards it. But I do get that you may decide to move forward with this individual. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords here in the outcome? Ace of Wands. Yeah. I feel like there's a very high possibility that you'll eventually or decide to be open to the renewal of this situation. But I feel like you still feel as though things need to be taken care of or possibly talked about. Something like that. Um, in terms of zodiac signs in the spread, you actually have a lot of people here. You have strength. You have Leo. You have Gemini. You have Virgo. Leo again. You got Pisces. Uh, Libra. All right. So let's see what we have as your ending oracle for the week here. Capricorn from the Astro Star Codes. I will be reading this from the book. And you have progressions with journey. Card number 56. All right. Card number 56. The planets continuously move through time and space. When you are born, you imprint the patterns of that moment, which are described in your natal chart. But the planets keep moving, and you also imprint the patterns they make as they progress through those first few months. This progression stretch out the big sweeping journey of your life. Your action with this card is progressions do not speak of a passing thing, but to the big sweeping arcs of the karmic fate to your soul's journey. Your present situation may not make sense in the short term because it has more to do with the big karmic patterns and less to do with your daily existence. Your challenge here is this is not a small obstacle or opportunity, this is part of a complex pattern. Every choice you make changes how it unfolds. Your gift with this card is to trust the tides and set your own sails. Yeah. Very synchronized with the way your spread has come through here, Capricorn. So this is what we have here for you. Thank you for being here and for my watching, Capricorn. We are back on this main channel. So do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell to all. We are active here once again. So you are alerted of new Capricorn readings. We also have blessed bracelets going in any kit purchased from my Etsy shop from July, August, September. If you're interested in receiving a blessed bracelet, you can go into my Etsy shop. Any kit I have will... It will be coming in. It will be in every kit. You can also customize your kit to your zodiac sign. There's a drop down of zodiac signs if you want. You can clip cap, click. Why can't I talk? Click on Capricorn, and I will customize your kit to all Capricorn goodies. So, thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Capricorns. I'll talk to all of y'all soon. Bye now.